welcome or welcome back to the channel it's your girl ajari style so you know sometimes you're watching a video and there is this slow smooth zoom in effect that just keeps you glued to watching that video or maybe this dramatic zoom in that actually makes you want to pay attention to the video and watch it to the end well in this video i'm going to show you how you can use cap cuts to achieve this slow zoom in effect also the dramatic zoom in effect to give and elevate your editing game and take it to the next level don't worry it is very easy and i'm going to show you exactly how you can do this using cap cut and using your mobile phone let us get into this video guys let us get it going so first things first we're going to head over cap cuts click on the cap cuts and click on new projects so we're going to import our video into the cap cuts app and add it So I just added my video into CapCut. So the next we're going to do, normally you have to work on the color grading, the volume and other things that needs to be edited on the video. So I'm just going to quickly increase my volume and the next is to adjust the color. That is the color grading. Brilliant, I'm going to make it three. Sharpen, I'm going to make it 19. So this looks perfect. I'm just going to okay it. And the next thing I'm going to do now is to head over into the main business of today. And that is how to show you how to do the slow zooming when you're editing your video. So we're going to use the keyframe effect. And this is your keyframe effect. When you tap on the video and you see the plus icon, that is the keyframe effect. So if you want to zoom or slowly zoom into this video, what you have to do is once your video is highlighted, meaning once you have tapped on the video, you're going to add the keyframe. Let me just explain what this keyframe means, like using the keyframe to um, to zoom into your video. It's you're just trying to tell it that from this place, because you you can set it to like different points where you want the zooming effect to start or where you want it to end. For example, if I want it to start from where my white line is, I'm going to add the effects from here, meaning I'm going to tap on the keyframe and it's going to show this red diamond okay so if you want you don't want it to add from the beginning you can move this white line to the point where you want the zoom in to start this is why you need to understand your video and the parts where you actually want the zooming effect to take effect so you can tap it from here so for this video i want the i want the zoom in to start from the beginning so i'm just going to add my keyframe here so i'm tap on the keyframe effects and as you can see, there is a little red diamond sign. So what you're going to do now is you're going to move the line. As you can see, you see your line, your keyframe is still there. You're going to move the, the, um, your cursor or your line to the point where you want the effect or where you want the uh, zoom in effect to happen. Do you understand? That means it's going to slowly be zooming, zooming, zooming into the video until it gets to the next point where you're going to put this keyframe effect. I don't know if that makes sense. We've already put one effect here, meaning from this point, we want the zoom in to start zooming in gently. Then at this other point where I'm going to put another keyframe, you have to make sure you're tapped on the video, okay? To this point where I want to put another keyframe, I want it to slowly zoom and get to this point. So watch out what, what is going to happen. So let's just zoom it to the end. This is to the end. I want it to zoom until it gets to a certain level. I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to zoom in. Perfect. You see, I did, I did not add the keyframe. It's added automatically because from the first point I added it to this point, and the way I zoomed in, this is the way I want the keyframe effect to be. I don't know if you understand. Meaning from the beginning, my image is going to be way broader. But as it's playing and as it's coming, the image will be zooming closely, zooming closely. Then until we get to this point, that is the final point where I zoomed with my hands and I stopped. Let me know if you understand this. Drop in the comment section. Let us play this video and let's see what's going to happen. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Ajari Style. So, you know, sometimes you're watching a video. Observe how the video is zooming 
very slowly because the two end points are far apart that's why it is slow zoom it's zooming in slowly because the two end points are far apart what's like for example if i bring this keyframe closer i'm going to take this other one out you see it's very very far apart if i remove this keyframe and i take it to this place very close a little bit closer to the first one this is the first keyframe as you can see if i just let me see let me just put the second keyframe here meaning i'm just going to zoom in like i want my face to be zoomed in a little bit when it gets to this point but it's going to be a gradual trans uh, a gradual transition yes that's the right word it's going to be a gradual transition so from this first point your video will be zooming in gently 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 until it gets to this point where you will zoom in and be like okay when you get to this point i want my video to be like this as you can see on the screen you see the keyframe has automatically added now let's watch this perfect did you see that when it got to this point that was when it got to the exact point where i zoomed i used my hand to zoom it to reach that was where it got to the point so if you want to make a dramatic zoom in this is what you have to do so let's remove the other keyframe if you want to do the dramatic zoom in you're going to add your keyframes very very close to each other so it's going to have a very quick dramatic zoom in because the two keyframes are placed together so if you want a zoom in you have to add the keyframe then move the move it to the next point then zoom in so this is a dramatic zoom in let's play again and watch you see when you got to that point it zoomed in immediately i don't know if you understand this but i hope you do so this is how you can use this keyframe effect to do a dramatic zoom in and a slow zoom in let me just run through again for the slow zoom in you have to place the two keyframes apart from each other when you place the first one when you place the first keyframe you move the cursor to the point where you want your video to be fully fully zoomed so this is the point i want it to be fully zoomed but i want it to slowly be zooming in okay so i'm going to zoom in a little bit then the keyframe has been added already so if we play from here welcome my video will be zooming if we play from here my video will be zooming in gradually to the point where i zoomed in with my fingers you will notice that the zoom is coming in very slowly because the two keyframes are placed apart but if i were to play the place them together the zoom is going to be faster because the two keyframes are closer so guys so this is how you add your slow zoom in effect using the keyframe techniques and also the dramatic zoom in so i'll be sharing with you how to do the zoom out in my next video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe see you in my next video